trust me. I know what I'm doing. Is he a cop? Unfortunately, he's from Internal Affairs, and he's checking the records for cops who break the rules. Oh, I don't want to be here when he sees Hammer's file. You won't. I hid it. I sent Hammer home early, and I got rid of every scrap of paper with Hammer's name on it. That guy won't even know Hammer exists. I wish I could say the same. We know you're in there. If you don't come out immediately, we are prepared to use force. Sledgehammer. Did I hear the magic word, force? Yeah. We've got the leader of a satanic cult barricaded inside. We've been threatening him for 20 minutes, but he just doesn't seem to respond. Well, then blow the scum sucker away. Ah, uh, we don't want to shoot out. Not with the Queen of England here. The Queen? The Queen would love it. She could throw out the first grenade. Uh, it just wouldn't work, Sledge. Here. Don't worry. I can be very diplomatic when I want to. Okay, okay Rubligan. Play hard to get. I haven't killed anybody all day. Well, that's why he didn't respond. He didn't hear you. He was in the shower. It's not always the way. It's all right. He's clean. Come on. Well, Captain, it's hard to believe, but your people seem to have spotless records. <laughs> Not a bad apple in the bunch, right? <laughs> I won't be wasting any more of my time. I'm leaving. Oh, are you sure you don't want to stay around? Maybe have a cup of coffee, maybe check some more records? Won't be necessary. <laughs> hey, Captain, look. I brought in the trash. Who are you? What are you doing to that man? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? Hammer, this is Inspector Perkins. From internal affairs. A cop who busts cops, huh? Does he work here? This uh, is Inspector Sledgehammer. I don't remember seeing that name. No, no. Who is this man you're so clearly abusing? The name is Slag. Slag. This rodent is the leader of a bloodthirsty cult of Satan worshippers. And so far, I like him better than I like you. Captain, I'd like to see Inspector Hammer's files, please. Doro? Yes. Get the wheelbarrow. Yes, sir. Well, if you all will excuse me, I'm going to take this scum sucker downstairs and violate his civil rights. You will do no such thing. You will take this suspect to a holding cell, and you will have him transferred to prison in the morning. But first, you'll give him his one phone call. What do you want, pepperoni? Hammer. Ancho? Hammer. You said a phone call. His call. Yeah? Hello, Angel. It's me. Slag! Where are you? I'm down at the police station. Can you come down and get me out? Of course! They got flat! Certainly. 
Ricky, I'd like you to meet Inspector Hammer. Since all our men are guarding the Queen, the Academy sent over this cadet to help us out. This is all so exciting. I can't believe I'm actually here. I've never even fired a gun before. Oh. Yeah, I used to be like you once. Then I entered first grade. Well, I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get down to work. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Well, cadet, you want something to do? Clean this. Inspector Hammer, I have been reading your file. I am very upset. Jealous, huh? No. No? No, I am not jealous. Look at this. You ran a counterfeiter through his own printing press. He was almost killed. Yeah, but he looked like a million bucks. You have violated 25 of the 26 amendments to the Constitution. I missed one? That's it. I want you to take me down to that suspect you just brought in. We'll see if he wants to file a formal complaint against you. Mr. Slag, I want to find out if Inspector Hammer has mistreated you in any way. What are these? Are these shackles really necessary? I'm just trying to make his stay in Hotel Hammer a little more uncomfortable. Remove these shackles. You don't want me to remove those. Inspector Hammer! There. Does that feel better, Slag? <laughs> just uh, tell me if you want me to help you. No, just say, help me hammer it now. All right, heal, rat boy. What's wrong with him? He's a bleeding heart liberal creep, but other than that, he's okay. Captain, for your information, I just saved this man's life. Hammer! Hammer, what have you done? Oh. Don't go. Phone a medic, please. Yeah. What? Line's dead. Captain, the radio's gone out. First your phone and now the radio? Looks like somebody's not paying the bills around here. Grace, get a flashlight. We're gonna go down to the basement and check the fuses. Doro, take care of Perkins. Hammer, stay here and be still. I wonder how upset he'd get if the toilet stopped flushing. Grace, at ease. It's just a mouse. Please, wake up. Why is it so dark in here? It's not dark. You must be going blind. Grow up, Hammer. No. Captain, what happened? This individual tried to kill me with these. Well, it was dark down there. Maybe he thought you were a rosebush. <laughs> Who are you? I'm a soldier of the evil. Finally, someone I can talk to. At least I know where he's coming from. What are you doing down there? So, you dirty hippie. For once in your life, you're ready for a job interview. Hammer, you barbarian. That man has rights. Fools. You have me. But there are many more outside. And 
we'll kill you all unless we get slag. <laughs> One, two, three, about four hundred. We got no men, we got no power. We're surrounded by hundreds of bloodthirsty Satan worshippers. See what happens when you allow freedom of worship? The Bill of Rights. It stinks. Look, I'm going down to the arsenal on a gun run. Anybody want anything? We're gonna have to make do with the guns we have. Maybe we can hold out until the morning shift gets here. Doro, that's not until 5 a.m. What time is it now? 7.06. Oh, my watch must be fast. We've got to get these lights back on. But those zombies are blocking the way to the emergency generator. Captain, we can get to the generator through the air shafts. I mean, that's a good idea. But you thought of it. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, don't worry. I'm fine. I wish I had y'all in here with me. Oh, I'm almost there. Almost there. This is right, yeah. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a light right ahead of me. Where am I? Ooh. Hammer, you big oaf, get out of there. I'll go fix the generator. I think I went left where it should have gone right. Or maybe I went right where I should have gone left. And I don't never mind. Okay. Be careful, Captain. Okay, listen up. We're gonna have to seal off this entire floor. Cadet, you barricade the rear entrance. Grace, take care of the fire door. Mayjoy, take the prisoner to the holding cell. No way! I leave this desk, I don't get paid. Inspector Hammer. Captain Trunk hasn't gone for two minutes and you start giving orders. You're acting like this is some frontier fort. This is not the Old West. What a shot. Landed right on my files. I'll let it burn. We need all the help we can get, so I'm gonna let these prisoners put their criminal talents to use for us. What are you in for? I'm a call girl. I'm a flasher. Girl, give me your gun. I've only got one left. Inspector Hammer. Not now. <laughs> these cultists don't want us. They want their leader back. If we give them slag, they'll let us go. No, they won't. They'll kill us. I'm an American. I don't negotiate with terrorists. If we hang tough, we'll survive. At least most of us. Grace? Attitudes like yours will bring about the apocalypse. I'll have your badge. What do you want next, my pants? Stop it! The only way we're gonna get through this alive is if we stick together as a team. Thoreau, for once, you're right. I'll take Perkins up on the roof and he can draw their fire. Oh, good, we got the lights back. Well, it's easy to see how you made, Detective. <laughs> Nice work, Captain. Cadet, help me! I'm sorry. I can't hit a woman. What? Wife of slag. Well, way to go, Captain. You sealed off another entrance. Now, there's no way they can get to us. That is, if everybody did their job. I blocked the fire doors. I sealed the rear entrance. What about the elevators? Hammer, 
it's the janitor. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Hundreds of them up on the roof, and we're almost out of ammo. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna Get die. Get control of yourself, boys. Die. You know, you are gonna turn out to be a good cop, Ricky. Now listen up. There's nothing to worry about. We still have three bullets left. How are you gonna kill hundreds of cultists with three bullets? I'm gonna need a couple of lucky ricochets. If only we could get to the arsenal. If we make a run to the arsenal, they'll cut us to ribbons. All we have to do is give them back slag. Will you stop with that plan? I do not give in to the demands of criminals. Except for this one crook who liked getting beat up. How did a sadist like you ever become inspector? I got demoted. What's that? The police copter. It passes over every night at this time. Get to the roof and signal them. They can send help. Yeah, all we have to do is get the cultists to spell out SOS. I have a better way. I have a flare gun in my desk drawer. Why do you have a flare gun in your office desk drawer? In case I have to use it on you. All right. So you've got your precious flare gun. Now who's going to the roof to fire it? Well, that's a suicide mission. Hammer, you go. Did you get their attention? Situation's hopeless. Don't talk like that, Jerome. Be a man. Try and understand, Hammer. I can't be a nihilist like you. I'm not made of stone and steel. I know. You're much softer. You noticed. Duro, I notice everything. Hey, where's Perkins? Oh, oh, oh. That stupid pencil pusher, he took him up to the roof. They said they're going to kill him. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, those cultists aren't so bad after Are all. you going to do anything? They said they're going to kill him. Yeah, I'm going to take a nap. You really disappoint me, Hammer. I'm going to go help Perkins. Yeah, me too. Inspector Hammer, you used to be my hero. Mm -hmm. shoot me and then my legions will tear you to pieces. Sacrifices out of each and every one of you, except for you. Yeah. You're going to be my bride. <laughs> While well, you all were playing around on the roof, I made a little run to the arsenal. And now, it's hammer time. I've attached each of these explosives to this fuse, and if they don't surrender, we'll all blow up! 
You're not that stupid. Says who? You're bluffing. Looks like 4th of July is going to be a little early this year. Drop your weapons. Well, Drew, looks like we're safe now. Hammer the fuse! Go! Get him up! Get up! Cadet, you're chewing gum. Help me! Come on! Ho, ho, ha, ha! Get him the hell with the him. He must hold the heart. Where'd you learn to do that? It's in the police handbook. You should try reading it sometime. I'm waiting for the movie to come out. Hammer, we're slag. Right behind you, my pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't fire that if I were you. And that is because you are weak. No, it's because I know that gun has quite a recoil. Walk slower, man. Yeah, talk about an all-nighter. Inspector Hammer, you're going to have to realize that violence is not the answer to everything. People like you are a menace to us all. So why'd you save my life? Because it was my duty. Besides, I wanted to be able to put you on report. Detective. Well, Hammer, did you learn anything? Yeah. I'll never spend the night with him again. Let's get out of here. Thank God this nightmare is over. <sighs> Not for me. I get to clean up this mess. You missed a spot 